I'm not gonna I'm not gonna eat all of it. I'll leave you a bite. Shut up! Cartoons! It's fun! It's learning! But most of all is just shut up! Hello, I'm Andy, and welcome to our show! Did I just sing that? Ah, yes I did, you know why? Because today's important thing is music! That's right, kiddos, it's music! And I've got a special treat for you! Mr. Squirrel, hand me my guitar. There we go. Kiddos, do you want to hear Andy play the guitar? Yeah. Me too. All right, I'm going to play one of my favorite songs. This is an old one, but a great one. It's called Dreams Are Like Dragons. Yay! Dreams are like dragons. Yeah, true kids, they're like dragons. Let me count us in. Okay. All right, go. Dreams are like dragons in pretty silver wagons that come to you in the night. Sorry, right, hold on, hold on. I, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, yeah, I used to be in a band, um, but I went more my own way separately, you know. I don't wish anything bad on those guys. I mean, go Black Keys, I'm sure you're playing small venues in different places, but um, who's on TV? Okay, okay. Dreams are like dolphins, they're smarter than whales. They're mystical secret night tales. I don't think this is tuned. Did you mess up the tuning on this? This is ridiculous. I just, I think I got it. It would it. also help if you played real chords. Hey. And if you didn't suck, if you could have a discernible rhythm. Okay. Give it, here, I'll give you a beat. That's a downbeat. That's a downbeat. All right, okay, okay, That's enough, enough, no more, thanks. Thanks for ruining it for everyone. You're never gonna learn like that. Let's just do a cartoon, all right? Yeah! My mom told me I couldn't wear tampons yet. These pads she buys are as bulky as they get. But someday soon in a public restroom I'll ask aloud Could you spare me a tampon? Haven't got a dime Could you show me how to insert it? If you have the time I thought my friend was eyeing my new watch Said she was just staring at From my a gosh. mother's room to a lady's room, she calls out to you. Could you spare me a tampon? I haven't got a dime. Could you show me how to insert it? That girl can really play. Speaking of musical people, this next guest got their big break playing music for pennies in a New York subway. One time this guy came up to me and he was like, let's be friends. And I was like, no way, you're weird, dude. So, what's your favorite song? It's the Circle of Life. Have you ever sang karaoke? You know, I, I, I could... That's a tough subject. Because I feel like some people just, they just gotta do it. What's better, hip or hop? One time this angry loud dude yelled at me, but I couldn't understand what he said. Do you like Mozart or Lessart? I, I, I subscribe to the philosophy that, that more is better. Hmm. What was your most favorite musical concert? Um, they're, they're very intense, uh, 
They, uh, one tried to kill me. Who's your favorite singing kid show host? I, I don't know. What's in the box? Uh. Your dick? I've seen it several times. I wa I've watched some videos online. Well, I really don't know what to say to that. So here's another cartoon. Hip hop, named after bunnies who liked rhymes, went on to pave the way for talented lyricists to express themselves in a powerfully influential art form. Two problems here. I'm not a rabbit. I'm allergic to rhyming. I just don't have the talent. Nowadays, so long as you have voice modulators, a catchy beat, and a YouTube account, actual talent can be a thing of the past. Yes. Maybe I won't have to go to the orphanage after all. Let's start by finding you an attractive name. Something adults think is stupid, but kids think is the next evolution in colloquialisms. Okie dokie. Perfect. What? Now your very own first hit single. Remember, dumb it down. People don't want social commentary. They want worded sound effects and dance floor instructions. Scratch and sniff? Sounds good to me. I want the song to tell everyone how much allowance I have and how many girls I kiss. And that's what people want to know. If you confront a lyrical writer's block, feel free to live Really toss around expletives like f shit, and the n-word. Strictly from my necrophiliacs. This guy really speaks to me. Now just get Lil Wayne on the track, and for no good reason, your single will top the charts. Wobble wobble bling bling. I like him because he speaks in sound effects. And since his rhymes are terrible, they should be hypoallergenic to you. Yo, turn my snare up. Uh, uh. You're crazy for this one, Wayne. It's your boy! Okie dokie, let's go. Scratch and sniffy, scratch and sniffy. Wobble wobble, bling bling. Scratch and sniffy, scratch and sniffy. Wobble wobble, bling bling. Andy, before we keep going, we've got a very special something to announce. Miss Wendy, we didn't discuss this in rehearsals, but okay, what? It's Jimmy's birthday! <laughs> Who's Jimmy? I told you to sign my name to any card. I don't, why are you bringing this up during the show? Uh, Jimmy is one of our kiddos, and I baked him a cake. All right, which one? Me. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. <gasps> oh, five second rule! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Jimmy, I am so sorry. <laughs> He's red velvet. I mean, at least we can sing him happy birthday, right? Oh, hey, what do you think this is, PBS? We can't afford the rights to that. Okay. But uh, we can still sing if you kids want. We just can't use that melody, okay? So everybody just go ahead and sing with me, okay? Um, happy day of birth to you, to you, Jimmy. Happy day of birth. I'm so sorry, Jimmy. I'm so sorry. Happy day of your birth, Jimmy! Here, man. I'm sorry. Here, Thanks, have, Jimmy. Have some, have some cake, bro. Oh. Now, uh, now it's his birthday. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, Miss yeah. Wendy must not have made this. Oh, no, it's, it's pretty good, right? <laughs> Where'd you get this? The market. That's what I thought. Jimmy, stop crying, man. It's your birthday. You can't cry on your birthday. Yeah, have some cake. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat all of it. I'll leave you a bite. Here, mm. this is probably pretty clean. Here, have some cake, man. Have some cake. Oh, oh. Jimmy, come oh, on, man. Five second roll. Don't be like that, man. You're supposed to be happy on your birthday. Yeah, it was, uh, it was Jimmy's birthday. So, uh, you know, I had, to, I had to improvise a little bit. Didn't know it was his birthday. Took him out, got him a little f up. We went to the strip joint, told him it was his birthday. He had the time of his life. You're welcome, Jimmy. Okay, here goes. I was in college yeah. in Texas. I had this girlfriend, Valerie. Really great. Pretty, smart. I was in love. I always felt like she was too good for me, you know? Huh? And of course, uh, girl, she dumped me. And I was devastated. I really wanted her back. The one thing I was sure she really liked about me was that I played the guitar. So anyway, there was this open mic thing at a nearby cafe. I signed up for it. I wrote a song for it. A love song. 
I told Valerie about it, and she was kind of reluctant to come, <laughs> but then she said, okay, she'd be there. The night before, I went out to a bar and ended up getting kind of drunk. Well, not kind of. I was out really late, ended up talking to this other girl. I told her about the open mic, and she said she might come too. I woke up the next day at like 3 in the afternoon, totally hungover. I ate some breakfast type food and then fell back asleep for a while. But I set the alarm and got up and got to the cafe on time. Just before I took the stage, Valerie walked in. The girl from the bar showed up too. When I got up to perform, I felt a little nervous, also dizzy, also queasy. I looked at Valerie and said, I wrote this song for someone special. But I realized it looked at the girl from the bar like I was looking at her too. Oh my love, my darling love, like rain our love falls down. Our passion floats upon the breeze. It makes the sweet. Suddenly I got an incredible pain in my stomach. An incredible pressure down below. That unmistakable pressure. It came on instantly like a fucking Hoover Dam breaking. There was no time to stop and run to the bathroom. I couldn't tell if everybody knew what happened or not. But I kept singing, trying not to let my face show what was going on down there. I kissed you once, I kissed you twice. Your lips were sweet as wine. So sound the trumpets from my mind. They all clapped politely as I waddled to the bathroom like a penguin. I tried to clean myself up the best I could, but there's no cleaning up that mess in my underwear. Thank God there was a window. I washed up and went back out. Valerie was gone, but the girl from the bar was still there. Amazingly, she liked the song. She asked me if I wanted to get a bite to eat. I felt bad about Valerie, but at least this made it better. We turned the corner and came to her car. Uh-oh. My shitty underpants were right there on her windshield. Hey, shut up! Remember kids, if you want to be a kiddo... Hey, what's going on? Oh, in those dragon dreams... Mean that I love you. That's my guitar! Hey man, I'm in the middle of a jam sesh here, huh? Play me another one. I don't take requests. Dragon Dream! If you want to be a kid of our day, please record your own hardcore hip hop gangster rap and upload it to YouTube. If it goes viral, we'll call you. Have a great day, and see you next time! Dragon Dream!